Hi there, I'm Chris from XP Rigging in Dorset, and today I'm going to be showing you how to splice double braid rope. Um, we often splice double braid rope to produce halyards and sheets on boats, um, commonly attaching shackles of various sizes and functions. So to produce this splice that we're going to be doing today in 10 millimeter double braid, we need just some simple tools. We have a 10 millimeter fid, a 7.5 millimeter fid, uh, a marker pen, and they're just a sharp set of scissors. So first of all, we need to form the size of the eye we require. Um, so for this, we're just gonna do an average sized eye. So to start with, we need to use a marker pen and a fid. First process is one fid length. From that, we can then transfer to make our eye size. Obviously we can go smaller or we can go much larger to form an appropriate size eye. This one will typically do a couple of inches long and we mark here. So we just, to help pull the core out of this mark here, we just work a little bit of slack into it, just an inch will do. Just run our hands down the rope. Then we need to just pick a couple of a couple of yarns uh, to make space to then use another fit to, 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 to pull the core out. Um, in a typical splicing pack, you've obviously got the 10 mil fit to form the structural size, and then we use one size down. So for example, this one is 7.5, and that will just help us work the core out. Being careful not to catch the jacket strands. Just for reference, we need to just put a little mark on there to show where we've pulled out. So from this point here that we've removed, we need to work some slack into this jacket to allow it to grow in dimension to pull the splice in. So we use the 10 millimeter fit. We offer it up against, and then we mark two thirds fit length onto the rope. Okay, so we've done our marks, we've pulled our core out of our jacket, now we're gonna form the eye. So to form the eye, we need to cross these uh, core and jacket here, and we need to insert this core back down through the jacket, coming out past the throw to the splice here, approximately a couple of inches down. To do that, we use the 7.5 millimeter fit. Sometimes this rope can pull off this fit. As a little tip, you can actually tape uh, the rope onto this fit just to make it a little bit easier. And as I said, coming out a couple of inches past. We're now passing the core inside the jacket to, to, to form the first part of the splice.
we work that round to this mark here. This is our second mark on the core of the slack. Our objective now is to pass this jacket inside this core, essentially creating an overlap across. You can work a little bit of core through, which then bunches the jacket up appropriately. So you're opening the layer of the rope, you're then looking to pass the fid inside the hollow, just taking time and care not to pick up individual yarns. And if you find that it pokes out the side, don't panic, just literally pull back and just keep working it down. All right, we now need to attach our jacket into the fid. Chin it up to create one full fit length. Okay, so we've now got a jacket inside the core and our core inside the jacket. So we've got this overlap point here. In order to make this splice easier to pull in, it's nice just to pull both of those towels and just get a really neat intersection here. The less bulk we have here, the easier it is to, to, to work inside the jacket. Okay, we now need to taper this core part. The easiest way to do that is work the end of the rope. through in a staggered pattern. Making a tapered section. I also like just to pull a couple of yarns out in the midsection, just to help reduce the overall bulk. So one, two from this side. And then turning around. And then tooth from the other side. Leaving some tiles at so and that's just reduced the bulk out of this, which will make the splice easier to pull in. When you're beginning, it is structurally a weaker splice but the more you take out bulk here, the easier it will to be pulling the splice. And most people will struggle to be to pull the final part of the splice in and frustration will set in, reverse back to this stage and remove more of these yarns to facilitate pulling it in. Okay, so we now take the last little bit off there. Pinching here at the crossover point, we want to milk the core back nice and tightly. And the tighter and the smoother we get this section here, the easier the splice will be to pull in. All right, so we now have the splice ready for the final stage, inserting this back up here. So to do that, we work down the rope. And if you remember, we did our three quarter length measurement. That was to create this slack in the jacket.
this last section can, can become a little bit tight, so I'd always suggest work the rope around just to soften that area up. And then if we now pull the last part in, this is often the part that people struggle with. struggle with that last process when I said about tapering this core down just go a little bit more aggressive on that taper and then lastly to finish off the splice we just need to reduce this here to do that we just work a little bit of core backwards paying careful attention not to cut the outer jacket the sharp scissors through there and then just to finish that last bit off, just give it a little tug. And then that is our finished formed splice. To finish it off, we can just roll it in our hands, and work it around and that just relaxes the lay of the rope and the yarns into place.